While K Flock was rising up the ranks in the New York drill scene, the rapper then ran into a serious altercation outside of a barbershop in New York City. Now from the photos that you see here on screen, on December 23rd, 2021, K Flock was walking down the sidewalk with two other individuals. K Flock wearing the blue coat in the middle, was wearing a Pusheisty mask as well. While walking past this barbershop, a man who was waiting for a haircut walks out of the barbershop. This man in question is known as Oscar Hernandez, and he noticed K-Flock walking by. While K-Flock was walking by, Flock was staring down Hernandez. This is when Hernandez was seen running out of the barbershop, and then screams at K-Flock asking, Hey, what are you looking at? This is when a small argument then brewed up between the two men in the middle of the sidewalk. With Hernandez walking away from K Flock, Flock was then allegedly seen pulling a firearm out of his waistband and using it towards the back of Hernandez. With it connecting to Hernandez's back and neck, he then tries running back into the barbershop for help. Hernandez later passed from his injuries at the local New York City hospital. All that was left at the scene was shell casings and Hernandez's slides that he was wearing on that day. Kevin Perez, professionally known as K Flock, was the main suspect in this investigation. He then turned himself into the NYPD just a few days later, and is currently facing charges of the first degree. Currently, K Flock is being held on Rikers Island. Him and his lawyers are doing anything possible to get him released, as Rikers Island is known to be one of the worst jails in the United States. Now, Hernandez's parents spoke out about the passing the next day. They believe this was a case of mistaken identity, as K Flock wasn't just staring down Hernandez for no reason. Now, Oscar Hernandez was a delivery man for Uber Eats. He was described as a very hard worker and a pleasant man to be around. Now, once this case hit news headlines, this photo was released to the main suspect. Now, the NYPD released this photo to their Twitter account, hoping the public can help find the main suspect. This is when thousands of fans realized that this looks just like New York rapper K Flock, as he was wearing the same outfit earlier in the day on Instagram Live. It wasn't long until the NYPD then put out a warrant for Flock's arrest. Now, K Flock hired one of the best lawyers in the game. K Flock and his lawyer then walked into the NYPD 30th precinct together and turned himself in. His lawyer then put out this statement. Yesterday, I accompanied Kevin, aka K Flock, as he self-surrendered to the detectives and the 30th precinct. Arrangements were immediately made with the NYPD once I learned he was wanted. Now, as to the charges against him, we have begun our own investigation into these allegations. More importantly, considering the DA's significant disclosure this morning, that the NYPD received a tip saying that someone else was the hitter. So we demanded the DA's office provide the disclosure of the videos referenced in the complaint and more information on the tip. Now, we will address bail once we have had a chance to review the case and further investigate the DA's noteworthy disclosure. So after this statement was released, the NYPD then put out their statement. So the NYPD believe this incident was street related based on K-Flock's documented affiliation on the Bronx based third side street team. But here is where it gets interesting. Another video would quickly go viral online, showing a man matching the suspect photo on FaceTime, showing off his firearm tucked into his waistband. Now this video that went viral was not K Flock. K Flock did not release this photo, nor did he post it online of him on FaceTime. Was there another man just around the block from where K Flock was wearing a very similar outfit who did this act? Well, it's hard to tell, as K Flock might be getting very lucky in this court case. So with the video surveillance you see here on screen, there was no actual camera angle showing the act being done. Right now, the only thing the NYPD have on K Flock is just probable cause of him being in the area and much more that I'll get into in a minute. Now, numerous amounts of ops against K Flock would then celebrate his arrest on social media, leaving many to believe that it was them who released the barbershop footage online. And they were celebrating his arrest due to allegedly K Flock being on their block sometime throughout earlier in that day and celebrating it on social media. 
So after video footage of the crime was posted all over the internet, everybody was claiming self-defense, as Oscar Hernandez is the one who went after K. Flock on the sidewalk. Now there's just one little issue with that, which is that self-defense in New York City is practically non-existent. The law in New York City is very different than, say, Florida. Having a firearm in general in New York City is highly against the law, whether you're using it to protect yourself or not. The only ones allowed to carry a firearm in New York City is law enforcement, ex-law enforcement, and registered security guards that work for high-ticket companies. But okay, for the sake of argument, let's say that K-Flock can claim self-defense, as easy as he could in Florida. Now this is still immediately thrown out of the window, as allegedly K-Flock used the firearm against Hernandez while Hernandez was looking the opposite way, meaning that K-Flock used it against Hernandez's back and neck. So the argument in court would be made of how K-Flock is in fear. How are you going to fear a man who isn't even looking at you face to face? So the rest of the evidence isn't super clear, but the probable cause to arrest stated that he used a firearm against an individual on surveillance, and that K-Flock was seen wearing this similar or the same outfit in other social media posts, and that K-Flock also flexed the same firearm with an extended clip on social media multiple times in the past. So due to the evidence we shared in this video, online lawyers believe that K. Flock may have ruined his very short music career for good. Which is very upsetting, as K. Flock has arguably the hottest song out right now titled Shake It, featuring Cardi B. Now this is where it gets interesting in the K. Flock case, as allegedly there was another man that I shared earlier who was posting out on FaceTime on his ops block. Now this man was wearing a very similar outfit to what K Flock was wearing. Now this man, while on FaceTime, he was on the block just around the corner. Was it him who ended up doing this act? Because remember, there was an anonymous tip sent to the NYPD stating that K Flock was not the hitter in this situation. And it's very hard to tell as there is no video evidence stating that Flock even did it. There's just very strong probable cause. So let us know what you think down below in the comments. It's been District Trending, and I'm out. Peace.